Hey folks, Josiah here. Uh, I'm going to quickly go over how to conduct an ANO uh, ANOVA or an analysis of variance in R. So we're going to start out with the data sets from UITK, the Urban Informatics Toolkit, and also we're going to load up the trusty Tidyverse just in case. So the data set we're going to use is going to be the commute data set that is loaded in with UITK. Um, and for this example, what we're going to try to illust uh, illustrate or explore is the commuting power uh, patterns of places in the um, greater Boston area. So there's this variable here that contains um, the proportion of the population within each census tract that commutes by public transit. We can see some don't uh, commute at all by public transit and some places commute quite a bit by public transit. So um, the first thing that we do when we want to explore any variable is we visualize it. So we're going to start by creating a ggplot of the distribution of that single variable. So uh, by public trans is the name of the variable. And then also we're going to uh, use a density plot. I prefer those two histograms. And we can kind of see this distribution here. Now, this is really, really helpful. But one of the questions that I want to ask is, okay, well, does this actually change uh, depending in which county you're at in, in the greater Boston area? So if we look at the map here, um, we can see that these are the counties of Massachusetts. Suffolk County, so that's going to contain Cambridge and Boston, and there's Norfolk and Middlesex, and these are going to be more suburban areas. Now, if we go back, uh, we can see that in our data set, count commute uh, county, we can see that we have observations for all three of those counties. Now, the first thing that I'm going to recommend we do is we actually visualize um, these distributions first by these groups. So let's say, hey, fill equals uh, county. And I'm also going to set the transparency to be uh, about one fifth. So now what we can do is we can see that there are these very, the, the distributions look a little bit different based on which county we're in. We can see that um, for Middlesex County, there's a lot of people far to the left of this distribution where they're not doing much um, tra uh, much commuting by public transportation. And Norfolk seems to be a little bit further to the right. And then Suffolk seems to be much further to the right with a much more normally distributed kind of um, uh, distribution here. So now what we're kind of curious is, hey, is there a statistically significant or, or meaningful difference between these different groups? Um, and what we can see from this distribute from the density plots is that hey, there, there most likely is, but we don't know what that is. And um, if there were only two groups, we could perform a t-test because that compares two different groups. But now we have three groups. So wh what can we do here? Um, when we have three or more groups, that's a really really good time to use an ANOVA. And ANOVA is kind of a, uh, looking at analysis of variance. So what we can do is we can create this ANOVA. Um, using the AOV function in R. And it takes the same formula of Y by group data equals data frame, right? So in our case, we want to look at um, by pub trans and, oops, sorry, and then it's also gonna be by county and then data equals commute. <clears throat> Let's so we run this, it gives us the call, but what we actually want to do is save this to an object. So let's call this uh, PubTrans AOV. And we can uh, look at the summary of this object to get more thorough output. Now what this tells us is that um, we see that there's a large F value, so a large variation of variance between these different groups, and that, hey, this P value is tiny. So that tells us that there is a statistically significant group, uh, difference in the variance between these different um, group levels. But the thing about an analysis of variance is that it doesn't tell, tell us which groups those are, right? So in order to do that, we're going to use um, Tukey's uh, Tukey HSD. So Tukey's HSD or Tukey's honestly significant difference is a way to take an analysis of variance and then essentially compare each unique combination of these groups to see if um, there are differences between those different group pairings. Um, you can really think about these as like uh, t-tests as uh, t-tests for each group matching. So it'll be like a little t-test for Middlesex to Norfolk and Middlesex to Suffolk and Suffolk to Norfolk, right? So um, what Tukey at GSD is going to take this, this object that we create and then it's going to 
basically compare these, do these multiple comparisons between all of these. And now this provides us with um, a way of visualizing the difference between these unique groups, right? So now we're comparing Norfolk to, to Middlesex, and we can see there's not much of a, there's no statistically significant difference between those two um, counties, right? We can see it looks pretty close here, and the averages, um, like the, the way this works out is it's not what we could call a statistically significant difference, right? The p-value, the, the adjusted p-value is 0.2. That's rather high. And then when we look at Suffolk to Middlesex, right? Suffolk to Middlesex, over in the red, um, that is quite significant, and Suffolk to Norfolk is quite significant too. And that's not really surprising, right? Because um, Suffolk contains Boston and Cambridge. So this is a really good way of um, verifying that. But now what we're going to want to do is uh, create a visualization of these coefficients, right? Like how much error is there and, and what are the size of those coefficients? So in order to do that, we're going to um, use a function from a package called uh, Broom. Broom tidies up uh, model outputs to nice data frames that we can utilize. So here we're going to pipe this into Broom and then tidy. So now we have this nice little tibble that we can use to um, kind of create this plot. So the first thing we're gonna do here is now that we have this estimate and the, conf the confidence intervals, we wanna basically create um, a plot illustrating these. The first step here is we send this over to ggplot. And we're gonna use the aesthetic mappings of estimate and then comparison. And then first of all, we're going to do is create this point, the point estimates of these um, coefficients. But it's really important that we also include the um, confidence intervals. So we're going to use this geom error bar h for horizontal to do so. Um, and now we're going to use the, the um, arguments x min to be conf dot low and x max equals conf dot high. So now we have these plots of the estimates that also include the confidence intervals as well to kind of give us a good idea of where they're at. So um, this is a really good way to go about performing an analysis of variance in R.